Daniel asks, the best way for a culinary virgin to step up to the plate? What's the best way for a complete culinary virgin to step up to the plate? To step up to the plate. Well, I mean, yeah, I get it. I mean, really, first of all, get Thanks, a Sydney. friend uh, that you really, you know, love, adore, admire, and cook with you. Because once you do it by yourself and you don't know anything about food, it's hard because it's a, it's so many things. It's arugula better than this lettuce, and it's a lot, right? So if you cook with somebody that you trust and you're gonna have fun with, at the same time, drink some wine and you know, stick to it for 30 days. On the 17th day, I'm gonna call you if you're not sticking with yes. it. <laughs> sure. My man. Yeah. Marcus, can I ask you, I'm gonna go side question, little yeah. question for me. One of the things that I've enjoyed in the food scene, obviously living in New York has been amazing for this, is when a new thing pops up. Yeah. And when I mean a new thing, I actually mean an ingredient or a spice or a thing. Yeah. Like, is there any vegetable or fruit or spice that's emerging right now in the scene? I'm fascinated by yeah. that. So first of all, there is very little things in the food scene that are new. Right? I know that. Because it really, it Is might it be new interpretations? Yeah, well, what, what happened is, go back to the France scenario, when we brought so much from just Europe and France and eventually Italy and Spain. There was still a lot of opportunity. Yeah. So what we look at now as new is very often from not even Japan anymore, maybe Korea, but also now a little bit from Peru. It's definitely a strong merger. Peru. Peru. And what do they make? What do they got going on? No, because you think about extension of the sushi culture is obviously tiradito, ceviche, and those stuff yes. that we here still don't know that much about. Yes. And then the last thing that's going to come even more is Africa. So when I brought a, the oldest spice plant in the world to America, you know, Berbere, which is the oldest spice plant. Ethiopian looked at me like, that's not new, we've had it forever. <laughs> or if you think about argan oil that comes from uh, Morocco. Argan oil is mostly used in makeup, right? It's yes. all over. Yes. But cooking wise, it's a pretty new oil here in the West to cook with. The Middle East and you know, Southern Mediterranean people have been cooking with it for 2,000 years. What about meats like from Africa? Like, will that, do you think 20, 30, 50 years? Well, the cuts might the change, cuts. you know, because the meats are pretty traditional, right? right? but then the cuts that we're using might change. And also that is old school, right? Well, of like course. when the chef's talking about Something's it. old school somewhere, always. Exactly, but we haven't maybe focused on that country before. That's right. 